the first rains of the season are upon us and today we're gonna fit this bad boy with everything it needs to clear out their first lot of water and capture as much of the rain as we possibly can. Stay tuned, I'm gonna take you through all the different steps, all the different fittings, so that you never have to rely on anyone else giving you water again but yourself. Okay, so to start off with, we've tried to use as much of our existing roofing guttering as possible. Um, we've actually only bought a meter of extra pipe and that's it. We're reusing all the rest. But what I have in front of me is the flush system to get rid of the first lot of water that comes off your roof. It's really great just to capture leaves. We've got a leaf catcher, but unfortunately the angles aren't working, so we can't really use it at this stage. It gets rid of all the dirt, moss, algae, anything that's collected in the drain, collects at the bottom and flushes out. So what you get with this system, we got it from Eco Depot, which is a really, really great store. I'm gonna put the link in the bottom so you can also get it if you want. It has an 80, 210 mil adjuster <clears throat> and then and then a fitting onto the 110 with a connector to a screw and a tap this is a nice big tap so all the dirt can actually get through without any worries um, if you can hear the wind in the background I'm sorry about that we're just expecting a massive storm tonight heading into tomorrow so these gusts that you're busy hearing are 80 to 95 kilometer an hour straight off the Atlantic, bringing us all that wonderful rain. So yeah, back to this. And all, all you do is you are provided with the T-bracket, connects from the gutter to this, continues out to your piping, which we'll show through to you later, into the, the water tank, and it's a simple as that. This is called a, a poly nipple. <laughs> Threads on both sides, threaded into the bottom of the water tank. And then we've got quite a big ball valve, <clears throat> just so that we're not putting any pressure on the actual valve. This will screw in, that will screw into the tank, and then this can go into whatever we want, into our drip system, our pump, whatever the case may be. And then what we also have is the same screw system which will be for our overflow at the top with the L bracket down and a second L bracket, which will take it from the ground overflow into the rest of the garden where we are going to be building swales. That's going to be a really great video. Our aim is to have a zero runoff property. So when this one's full, all this goes into a separate draining system. So the garden is always absorbing and nothing is busy running off. So now that you've seen all the parts, let me show you how to put it all together. Okay, so first things first, what you want to do is take the plug that's in here out and you might need to get a, a pair of pliers or something to, to tug it in and out. It's pretty snug in there. And then what you're going to do is take the threaded connection, put it in. Nice, tight, not too tight that you strip the threads because then you have a problem with leaking. Then all you do is you take the ball valve, preferably make sure it's closed just so that you know you don't overlook that one. Screw that on. Okay, now this is very, very tight, so we're good to go on that. And then what we would be doing once we've figured out exactly what we want to do is we'll get the connectors and the adjusters from this valve through to the pump or into the garden. Now, we're not quite sure what we want to do, so we haven't connected that quite up yet. And that's that. This connection is done. It's as simple as that. Okay, so exactly the same principle applies with the overflow valve at the top. There would be a plug in there. You just need to pull that out. And then you're taking your L bracket like that, turning it in. 
This one doesn't need to be as tight. It's, there's no pressure on it. It's just merely an overflow. Get it pointing down, nice and solid. Then what you can do is you can take pipe, the piping that you need, and you would just be fitting it onto the connector there. We'll do that in a bit. Put it straight down and connect it to the L bracket at the bottom and leave all the excess pipe running out into the garden. Okay, so now we're gonna fit the overflow to the gutter. You'll see this is the T bracket that I spoke about earlier. Just remember when you're doing this and you're busy putting it all together, don't PVC weld or cement anything together yet because you might have made mistakes and still need some adjusting. So only glue everything together once you know everything fits correctly. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna take this contraption you've just made. This will connect to the gutter. And then when you get the kit, they supply you with a bracket. And you can see this is all the perfect fitting. They're all gonna run the overflow once this is full. There's a little ball, we'll go around and then the water will start running through the little hole we cut into the tank on the other side. When the overflow is full, the valve is at the bottom, just add a bucket, open it, everything will come out. It'll have to fill up again, so try not empty this too often because it'll need to be refilled. Yeah, and that's, that's about it. So we're going to put everything together, glue it all up, and then I'm just gonna take you through a quick walkthrough to show you how everything looks all put together. Now that we have it fitted, I'm just gonna quickly show you what it looks like. There's the downpipe fitted with the outlet. We've had to adjust the angle there a little bit, put some PVC weld on. Might not hold, but hey, this is DIY. I mean, make things up as we go and hope for the best. <laughs> yeah, then you can see through the back where we cut a hole in the windbreak. It's coming through and then into the inlet of the water tank. We will still get a mesh covering for this. Um, obviously, we don't want any pigeon poo or any other random stuff going in there, so that will still be done. And then if I take you down the outlet, or the overflow, you'll see there's the connection, it goes all the way down, and I've hooked it behind the bottom outlet valve, just to give it a bit of, of structure and shape, and then from there, it goes out to where we want it to be. There's the fitting, and there you go. It's really as simple as that. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you got some value out of it. I hope you got to see how simple it is to install this yourself. You will probably need a bit of extra manpower to get this thing into the place that it needs to be. I needed four guys, including myself. <laughs> it's a 5,000 liter tank, so it's quite heavy. But if you can get that manpower, get it into place, you can see how easy and simple it is to get the installation done and hopefully you can get your installation done before the heavens decide to open up. Until next time, thanks for watching and please do subscribe so you can follow our journey and we can share our journey with you. Keep well everyone.